Burundi's government will not take part in the peace talks with the opposition scheduled for Wednesday. The announcement by a senior government official from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs cast a fresh doubt on efforts to end months of, a la of violence in the country. Meanwhile, Burundi's former defense minister Cyril Ndai Rukie and four others have pleaded guilty to charges relating to last May's attempted coup. KTN's Lilian Odera has the latest from the standoff in Burundi. The talks to be convened in Arusha, Tanzania were announced in December 2015 as part of regional efforts to resolve a crisis triggered by President Pierre Nkuruziza's decision to run for a third term in office. A move opponents said broke the constitution. <laughs> Joseph Banguramona, the permanent secretary in Burundi's foreign affairs ministry, told Reuters that there would be no dialogue as many may think, because there has been no consensus on outstanding issues. During the first round of talks in Entebbe, Uganda, Burundi's foreign minister, Willy Nyamitwe, made it clear that the government would not sit on the same table with last May's coup plotters. The people who have evidence against concerning the coup, if they show up in the room, we get out. It is as simple as that. Why should we be, talk should we talk be talking of immunity for some? while others are facing justice in Burundi. In Burundi. Following increased wave of violence in Burundi, the African Union said it was ready to send 5,000 peacekeepers to protect civilians, invoking for the first time powers to intervene in a member state against its will. In a radio address at the close of 2015, President Kuruziza said that Burundians would fight against any peacekeepers sent into the country by the African Union in his first public response to the AU's plan to deal with an escalating political crisis. Burundi is a sovereign state and everyone has to respect Burundi. The United Nations Security Council has made decisions in the past we are adhered to, but we do not accept any forces coming here. In case they violate our sovereignty and our borders, every Burundian will rise up and fight them because our country will be under attack. We will protect ourselves. In the meantime, the trial of 28 coup plotters is taking place in Gitega, 100 kilometers east of the capital, Bujumbura. Five of those on trial pleaded guilty. Former Defense Minister Cyril Ndairekuye is among the five who pleaded guilty during the trial on Tuesday. He said that the repression of last year's anti-government protests led him to try and overthrow President Pierre Kuruziza. Lilian Odera, TN News.